हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई इजी स्टडी विथ मी चैनल दिस इज माई फर्स्ट वीडियो एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू स्टार्ट विथ डेटा माइनिंग टॉपिक सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डेटा माइनिंग इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट इज डेटा माइनिंग माइनिंग मीन्स यू ऑल नो दैट माइनिंग मीन्स सर्चिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू ऑल हर्ड अबाउट गोल्ड माइनिंग राइट इट मीन्स सर्चिंग ऑफ गोल्ड लाइक वाइज इट इज अ डेटा माइनिंग सर्चिंग ऑफ डेटा नाउ द टॉपिक इज how you will search the data so the definition is it is the process of mining knowledge from large amount of data it is the process of mining means process of searching knowledge from large amount of data it means in the large amount of data it will search only useful data that is called data mining in this diagram you will understand see this so i have already told large amount of data large amount of data is also known as a big data in this big data it will extract only useful data by the using data mining technique that is called data mining data mining is also called as knowledge discovery in database so short form is kdd in the large amount of data you have to find out the useful data how we will find out by using kdd process so the process of kdd is divided into six phases first one is data selection second one is data pre processing or cleaning third one is data transformation fourth one is data mining fifth one pattern evaluation sixth one knowledge discovery so this is the kdd process diagram this is data warehouse warehouse means all data stores in one place it means wanted data unwanted data all all will be stores in data warehouse you have to find out only useful data by using kdd process data warehouse topic i'll explain detail in next video so this is data warehouse in the step it will select the data targeted data it means only selected data first one is data selection right so data warehouse first step it will select the data is targeted data next step is pre processing or cleaning right so in next step it will pre process the data cleans the data it means removes unwanted data that is called pre processed data so next step is data transformation in this step it will transform the data in the format wise here it is data transformation next step is data mining it will search interesting pattern this pattern we have to convert it into knowledge that work will be done by the evaluation then we'll receive knowledge we have to represent knowledge right so this is knowledge representation so these are the simple steps of kdd process for exam purpose this is very important topic so i hope you all understand this topic so the next topic is advantages and disadvantages of kdd process first we'll discuss about advantages of kdd process so first one is helps in decision making this is one of the important advantage it helps for decision making second one is improve business performance kdd can help organizers improve their performance by identifying areas for improvement optimizing process and also reducing cost third one is saves time and resources so kdd can help save time and resources by automating the data analysis process and identifying the most relevant and significant information fourth one is fraud detection kdd can help detect fraud and identifying fraudulent behavior by analyzing pattern in data and it will identify unusual behavior okay next fifth one that is last one enhance customer experience kdd can help organization improve customer experience by understanding the 
customer behavior so these are the advantages of kdd process let's see disadvantages of kdd process first one kdd requires high quality data kdd relies on high quality data to generate accurate and meaningful insight if the data is incomplete or poor quality it can lead to inaccurate misleading result and also conclusion so it requires high quality data so second one is complexity kdd is a complex and time consuming process okay that requires specialized skill and knowledge to perform a efficiency so third disadvantage is privacy and compliance concern kdd can raise ethical concern related to privacy compliance so these are all disadvantages of kdd process so the next topic is data mining technique it has variety of methods i'll explain few in that first one is classification it is the process of predicting the class of new item it will classify new data based on their new features second one is clustering this technique will be used to identify the data and the process helps to understand the difference and similarities between the data that is a clustering next one is regression it is a data mining function that predicts a number and also it is used for forecasting and understanding the relationship between the variables next fourth one is association this technique helps to find the association between two or more items it will discover hidden pattern in data set and also it identifies relationships and associations between variables in large data set next one is text mining the goal of text mining is transformed unstructured texture data into structured texture data so these are the data mining techniques hope i covered all the basic topics of data mining introduction thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video please subscribe and if you enjoy the content don't forget to like the videos